Hey everyone, welcome back. I thought I would actually take a couple minutes and talk to you guys about my first Instacart order and the first couple of orders I've done so far. You know, don't worry, a couple of you thought I was kidnapped because I was doing Instacart, but that's not the case. You know, it is, well, you guys all know this, but it's January and we're all experiencing slow slowness all the way around but you know i've talked to you guys a little bit in past videos about really bringing out those dusting off those cobwebs off the apps that you sometimes don't normally use that you kind of keep in your back pocket and instacart was it for me you know i also dusted off roadie and point pickup and you know i've now put the alerts back on and they're now into my turn them all on mix on a daily basis as well i signed up for instacart in 2020 and still never did one order so i'm like you know what it's time it's time for me to uh, see what I can do. You know, I've always turned on Instacart. I just have never really saw something that I'm like, oh, yay. So I did my first one and it was a $9 order. It was really easy to me. You know, I feel like once you kind of do one app, whether it's DoorDash shop and deliver, Shipped shop and deliver, even Spark shop and deliver, kind of the process is all the same just kind of a little different from every app and this was kind of no different from kind of all the shop and delivers that I'm used to doing so you know I it I was I was in and out the good thing about what I've been experiencing is I've been going to my local markets that I actually know like the back of my hand so for also from doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash and all the other ones as well so I felt like it was in out and done it was you know leave that door take a picture and you're on your merry little way actually the customer was so kind to me she gave me an extra dollar so thank you to the fantastic um, customer for upping my um, tip instead of two dollars I got three dollars what <laughs> but I did complete five deliveries so far all together and you know all pretty easy even today i did one and it was 13 dollars for three packs of gum once again shopped it in five minutes out the door and delivered i did have one customer issue and you guys are gonna have to let me know if this is like a norm or like an off thing but it was a me at door and I was in contact with the customer through the shop because there was a substitution that I had to do for her. She approved the substitution. I told her I was on my way, my ETA, and she goes, thumbs up, thank you. And I pull up to her driveway. She sees me and walks inside her house, closes the door. I'm like, oh, that's weird, but whatever. So I'm like, maybe she just went and is gonna come back. So I rang the doorbell no one came to the door so rang the doorbell again no one came to the door called texted like no bill she saw me <laughs> so five minutes goes by and according to instacart you guys can correct me if i'm wrong on this one but that's what instacart says on their thing is you have to wait 10 minutes and if they don't come to the door in 10 minutes then you're supposed to cancel the order i'm like lady i don't want to cancel this order so finally it was like the five minute mark and it, first of all it's cold outside so out in the cold and she comes to the door she goes oh I thought you were my friend lady you knew I was coming you knew my ETA you saw me pull up to your house and you think I'm your friend with that her dog gets out of the house and he's like jumping all over me he's as big as I am but cute little dog adorable no she wasn't a little dog as big dog but adorable she's yelling at the dog to get in the house and she goes give me my food i'm like okay here you go have a good day and that was like my only real experience um well i should say bad experience if you want to say it i feel like that would have been an experience no matter what app i've used um i don't like that you have to wait the five deliveries in order to unlock the instant cash out so i finally unlocked that 
um, that was my whole purpose of doing the five deliveries. So, you know, whether I like Instacart or not inst like Instacart, hey, I dusted it off and I'm learning it. You know, that's the one thing I think I can say to everybody. If you haven't used the app yet, go ahead and at least try one or two or maybe even three orders just so you get familiar with the app just in case you need to use it, you know how to use it. Not only that, but it's really good um, to at least use your apps once a month just so you're in the mix because some of these apps can deactivate you for an activity and especially if you had a hard time getting on and you were on a wait list, you don't want to go back on a wait list because you didn't use the app in a really long time which I'm surprised the Instacart didn't do to me, but you know, is it my favorite app? No, not, no, <laughs> but um, is it an app that I can put in my mix during slow times if there is an order we're taking? Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up using it for. Just like I kind of do a lot of my other apps. I, you know, some of my apps I feel like are good fillers for those really slow times in like the mid morning and even like the mid afternoon to kind of keep the wheels going. So, you know, those are kind of my first impressions so far on Instacart. It's kind of straightforward. You go in, you shop, you check out, you deliver, and you're done. Communication is key with the customer and keeping them happy. So far, knock on wood, hopefully all my customers, except for that one who was at Meet at Door that didn't want to meet at Door for whatever reason. But anyway, that's really all I wanted to come out here and say and give you guys an update. So guys, if you're driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. Love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace.